Hey guys, this is Greg from Never A Dull Moment. Today's episode, we're gonna be taking a knife that looks like this and make it look like this. Just moments ago, these two knives were identical. They both had their tips broken off. So I have already taken this knife on the 220 grit Shapton glass and worn it down. I'm getting ready to do the same thing with this. So if you just stay with me, we're gonna put a new shape on this knife using no power tools just using our hands and just one whetstone. Thanks. Okay guys, so what we've got here today is I'm using a Shabden 220. If you've got a lower grit, I suggest you use it. 400 would take you forever. If you've got something in the 110, 120 range, good job. But what we're gonna do is, is we're going to need to remove a lot of metal. I'm gonna keep the edge here and I'm gonna round it to that. So using a motion, if I do it this way, it's gonna take forever. I'm literally gonna put the knife vertical and I'm gonna use the entire stone. Okay, so you're thinking I'm crazy because I'm not using a sander. I don't have a sander. I don't have a belt sander. A lot of you guys don't have a belt sander or a place to put a belt sander. So it's gonna take a minute, so bear with me. Enjoy some music as we fast forward through this video. Am I putting a lot of pressure? Yes. Do I want to cut myself? No. Guys, I am not trying to sharpen this knife right now. I am not working on a burr. I am literally just reshaping the belly of this knife. So if you can see, it's already starting to work. So I am almost vertical. Like I'm a little bit at an angle, but I'm literally going in this direction, scraping this way. I would say that there's a mild angle, if you can catch that, there's a mild angle. So I do switch hands occasionally. You can see it's coming along. Okay, we need to bring this area of the belly in a little bit, but we still need to get to the tip. So to bring this area in, I'm doing a rounded motion with my wrist and I'm pushing. There is pressure from this hand pointing down. Now, when you do one side, you're gonna get a lot of metal fluffing up on this side, kind of like a burr. So I do want to flip it over to help me remove metal more rapidly. This is not back and forth, guys. This is rounded. There is a rounded motion. Okay, so when you reprofile the knife, you can do it to whatever you want. I don't need to bring the metal all the way back to here. Okay, but we're almost done with the shape. We still just got that little bit more to go. I don't know if you can see it.
<laughs> That's funny. So you guys are hearing my alarm system. Don't try to break in. So as you can see, we have a rounded tip. We have to make the belly just a little bit better. Okay, so the tip is where it needs to be. This needs to be smoother. We're gonna do that with the shapes of the, the wrist being rounded. So we just wanna make, make a nice rounded belly. And to take care of your stone, make sure you use the entire length of the stone. You'll see that the motions are really big and sweeping. They're more fluid that way to get like a, a bigger curve on the belly of the knife. So we're doing a really good job right now of getting this belly rounded. I am not trying to sharpen this knife at all. Okay, so all we have worked on is the new shape. All right, so as you can see, we have not sharpened the knife, but we've definitely put a new shape on the knife. Super excited about that. Um, I definitely charge extra for it. So reprofiling is not sharpening. So that is its own fee. It varies from wherever you live. Um, I'm gonna be $15 to reprofile this knife. Okay, so. Thanks guys for watching. All we've done today is reprofile this knife using just one stone, the 220 grit Shapton. We did not use a sander of any kind, just one stone. You can get it done. Um, we have not sharpened this knife. We're gonna put a link above so you can follow me on how to sharpen your knives. Um, once again, we just appreciate you following the channel. Please hit that like button and we'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. We try to put something out every single Friday. God bless you. We wish you never a dull moment. Thanks, sir.